Hi friends, today I'm going to be reading a short story from the Sesame Street Library, Volume 1, featuring the letter B. B. Bert and the Beanstalk Once upon a time there lived a boy named Bert. One day, Bert traded the family bicycle for a bag of magic beans. But Bert's buddy Ernie looked in the bag and said, Beans? Blah! How boring! and he threw the boring beans out the back window. Immediately, the beans began to bloom. By breakfast, they had blossomed into a big, beautiful beanstalk. When Ernie saw the beanstalk, he said, Look, a big, beautiful beanstalk. That's really boring. But Bert wasn't a bit bored. I feel brave, Bert bellowed. So he bounded up the beanstalk. Up, up, up went Bert, beyond the beans' blossoms, beyond the birds, beyond the blue, until he came to a big black building. The building belonged to a giant named Burly Barney. Burly Barney was in the bedroom eating his breakfast of bushels of buttered buns, barrels of blueberries, and bunches of bananas. When Bert saw how big Burly Barney was, Bert beat it to the back room. There, Bert found a big basket. It was full of bottle caps. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, said Bert. Bottle caps. I collect bottle caps. So Bert bought the basket of bottle caps back to the beanstalk. But Burly Barney saw Bert, and he began to bellow. You took my bottle caps. I'd better beat it, said Bert. Boldly, Bert climbed down. Barney bounded down behind him, but on a bottom branch, Bert slipped and fell with a bump. I'll bet you want to bash me because I borrowed your basket of bottle caps, blurted Bert. Are you batty? bellowed Burly Barney. Those bottle caps are boring. They were driving me bananas. Thank you for borrowing my bottle caps. But Burly Barney shook Bert's hand. In fact, he shook Bert's whole body. Then Barney bounded back up the beanstalk to his beautiful black building. And now that the basket of bottle caps belonged to Bert, Bert and the best, biggest bunch of bottle caps on the block. So Bert was beaming and everyone lived blissfully ever after, except Ernie who was bored. The end.